Hey YouTube, today we're working on the 85 Corvette. It's running like garbage. Um, so we're gonna try to set the timing on it. Car's been sitting in the body shop for a year and a half uh, due to COVID. Car's painted now, but uh, uh, we're gonna time it real quick, see what that's what it is. The, it does have an exhaust leak by the O2 sensors, but behind it, so we're hoping that's not gonna throw us off. Uh, we have the Y pipe inside, but we're not going to do it on the ground. We're going to use Tommy's lift. So uh, what we've done so far is just remove the uh, timing cover off the top of the uh, plenum. And uh, we're going to start from here. All right, so now, right now we're trying to get a wrench on or a uh, distributor, wrench. distributor wrench on the distributor bolt. It was in a weird spot. Uh, like where it's closed and we couldn't get it last time so let's see if we can't get the distributor loose so we can turn it you got it right yeah. okay so what we had to do is take this little bracket off over here so we could actually get the wrench in there because it was hitting against the rail so once we got that it actually turned so she should be good enough now. Okay, if we had a turn, we could turn it. Well, I have to put this plug this back in, so. Yeah, plug it all back in. But don't, show, don't turn the distributor. So no, I'm not going okay, to. Okay, so got the timing light on. Uh, number one cylinder, furthest one on the, on the uh, driver's side is number one. That's the firing order on this. We're going to start it. He's going to leave it in neutral. We're, hey, we're disconnecting the uh, advanced lead the black wire it's right by the uh, the uh, washer All right. windshield it. wiper arm motor start it, up. Gonna start it up leave it in neutral Don't grab it Just let it sit there So we're basically marking the, the, uh, the harmonic balancer for the timing mark. And we're trying to get a piece of chalk in there now. So. Loads of fun Corvettes. Got it marked? Yeah, Now we're going to run the timing light on it. I think we're way off. I think we're way off too. That's why I said, yeah, I didn't think the car was timed. So we timed this thing to eight degrees before top dead center. I mean, everything I see on the internet, I know it says six, but everybody seems to be at eight. Um, and it seems to smooth out a lot better at eight. So we're going to leave it there. We're going to put the, the advance back on, see if it's running any better. Um, so... We just disconnected the battery to reset the computer because obviously it would have thrown a check engine light for having the uh, timing advance disconnected. So let's see how it goes. All right, we had it set at 8, and then when we put the advance on, I think it was advancing it too much. Oh, now we put it back down at 6. Let's see what that does. Just have the battery back off to set the computer. We'll go from there. Hopefully, this time it'll run right. Who knows? So we timed the car. I took it out on the road, um, and uh, it, we pulled the code on it because it wasn't advancing the way it's supposed to advance. So we pulled the code on it, and it's a knock sensor circuit. So I'm going to order two knock sensors and put it in. Hopefully that'll fix what our problem is. Um, I'm also going to put the Y pipe on it and the uh, oxygen sensor. So hopefully at that point it'll run right. But uh, so for right now, thanks for watching. Timing uh, stuff that we did is what you have to do for timing a Corvette, regardless if knock sensor is bad or not. So hopefully you could see what we did and it worked out for you.
Again, thanks for watching.